Thank you so much for staying with us. You're still watching Wake Up Nigeria on this beautiful, beautiful Wednesday morning. And right now, it's time for us to take what we have on the cover of the dailies. And over here, I have the Daily Times, I have the Vanguard, I have Daily Trust, and New Telegraph. I also have Mike. <laughs> right here with me. Oh, you introduce the paper first before you introduce me. <laughs> do the paper. I I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. You have my care. <laughs> okay, okay. First, yeah. okay. So let me see. Let me start off with um, the Daily Times, and here for the major headlines we have Tinubu meets Akpabio over Ningi's suspension. And mm. uh, we have uh, at the top left over there, I won't dump PDP, says Atiku. We have that on page two. Abuja Market sets ablaze as police bullets kills suspects. We have that on page two as well. To the right of that, we have play two. Governor bans open grazing. We have that on page two. Below that, we have stocks market sustained winning streak gains 836.58 billion naira. And uh, on the bottom there, we have the National Assembly receives Abuja's 2024 budget proposal. Uh, ETI gets $250 million senior bridge to bond loan facility to support trade. We have that on page two as well. Mike. Yeah, of course, the major headline there. Yes. We've spoken about it in the news. And yeah. said the president meets the Senate president mm -hmm. over the suspension of uh, Senator Ningi. Mm -hmm. And it's quite interesting for me. Uh, this is very simple. If mm -hmm. he has made that allegation, then an audit should be carried out on the finances of the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. It's not even... Um, is not even up for this. Of course, definitely. Uh, and the president has also spoken about it. I mean, you saw what happened with the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs. And yeah, all that. yeah. Better, uh, yeah. You, who, you know, with all, uh, who, for me, in just a very, very, how many months, auntie has entered and... Yeah. Like she's, yeah. She's, she's, yeah. She has a target. Yeah, she has a... Uh, you understand? She so has my a goal. point is that it should extend to everybody. The, you understand? And if the Senate, if such an allegation, and budget pardon is something that we, it's a, at different times, we've spoken about how budgets have been padded. People have made this sort of allegation. So we should look into it. We should have an audit. It, 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 uh, to be truthful, if you get... Uh, an external auditing firm to find out. It's going to be very, very easy yeah. to know yeah. and see it. And so, yeah. you know, I, I would love to know what comes out of all of this. Of course, okay. Senator Ningi was given an option to apologize, as it were. Oh, and I mean, they should do the audit. Step down, yeah. straight, before <laughs> anything else. Really, while the audit is being done, yeah. the first thing, step, you cannot be in that position mm. and literally be, have such allegation and still be in Step down mm. first, then I mean, we'll it now happens around move. the world. Yes, okay? of course. Even, even leaders around there. Something yes, of I course. Mean, the I, fact that your integrity is being questioned at that level in trillions, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three <laughs> trillion. <laughs> and, all of that. and as the president of the Senate, mm -hmm. the responsibility is on you. There will be something like that that will be no problem without you. So, yes. 100% with you on that one, Winfrey. Yes, of course. I love the fact that, I mean, we're seeing things like this. Come out. Come out, Do you yeah. you understand? I love the and fact he made, that... He made mention, he said, look, some yeah. of the senior senators took 500 million. Yes. And he may say, I didn't get I was a ranking senator, but the senior members... He exactly. may, and then that would have angered some people, yes, I'm sure. of course. I mean, it's the flippancy for me, though, mm. if you ask me. It's just the flippancy for me. It's, it's like there's no regard for, for your state, for your office, for the federation. It's quite... I mean... Considering everything that's actually happening with the world, uh, probably yeah, in Nigeria, yeah, economy, at the, at the and all yeah, of that, true. it's terrible. So I think you have the vanguard. Yeah, okay. Over there. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, uh, Rompers, uh, senators, be cover money sharing, sharing. That's basically yeah. headline across all the papers this morning. Yes. Uh, this is on the vanguard. Alleged budding, budget padding. Adekoya, OPC, hunters mobilized as governor. Adeliki uncovers plots to attack schools and farms in Oshun State. Uh, Africa Games, Nigeria. So as to number two overtakes all Algeria and South Africa. That's mm. talking about sports there. Atiku denies dumping PDP and slams <laughs> Tinubu. Uh, quite interesting there. I would normally say that a healthy uh, a polity is one that has a healthy opposition. Opposition, so, yes. Of yes. Uh, it, Keeps it, you it, your is, it is exactly, yeah. exactly. It is a good mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. FG postpones a student's loan scheme indefinitely. Uh, threats to life. Bauchi governor apologizes to Tinubu's wife. Uh, quite interesting there. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, that's it. That's it. On, on, it's the same thing here. Abapa gridlock. Yes. Lagos <laughs> government impounds over 75 trucks. Mm. Uh, 2023 presidential pool most divisive in Nigeria's history. That's uh, Vice President Shetima. And Edo gubernatorial APC may settle for Ogbede Ihama as running mate to Okwebolo. Uh, that is uh, top. 
mm -hmm. uh, top right corner. And mm -hmm. of course, it is. It is the same thing here. Senators, big credit about money sharing. Mm -hmm. That is not what you were you were, you were uh, uh, elected to do. That that you you are there as a servant. I mean, I, I, I think the time we make these things less glamorous and understand that people that you're going there to serve, to serve. And, and and not to enrich yourself and set yourself up mm -hmm. and your generation or whatever for life. We yeah. need to understand that. We need to understand that as a people. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. I that's feel for over, for the longest time, right? I think that is honestly what it has been. People just see these positions as a as, as an opportunity for them to literally step ahead. Do you understand? And that's why they, the, there's so much rancor whenever it comes to okay, fine, filling those slots. That's why people seem to literally. I mean, we all know Nigerian senators now. We know them. Anyways, moving on to the Daily Trust right here. Uh, for the major headlines, we have 500 million digest like, here, senators apart. Okay, uh, for the writers, we have Ningi suspended for three months, quits as Northern Senators Chair. Um, Nigerians, Nigerians will never respect Senate in future. You will respect them in the past, I'm That's all. <laughs> Leader alleges plots to impeach Senate's president. And uh, that's all amid uh, budget padding allegations. And of course, to the top left there, we have bandits kidnapped 30 villagers in Kaduna, returned to Kuruga five days after. Uh, we have 2024 Hajj pilgrims in limbo as Narcon yet to rem remit funds. Okay, we have that um, on page 20, on page 25. Uh, and of course, below there, we have more braises, Abuja markets, as prison officers gone down fleeing suspects. We have that on page six. And below there to the left, we have um, Niger res um, res residents' fault, renaming of Abubakar Imam International Airport. We have that on page 24. So good to abductors of Sagaya um, students, demand 20 million ransom. We have that on page seven. African Games, Nigeria secures second position with six more gold medals. Uh, okay, I feel, I mean. Mm. Yeah, no, that's it, that's it. it. That's, yeah. uh, that's all that we can, we, we should be able to take on the paper. But just talking about the games, uh, you spoke about. Yes, I was actually going to ask It's all Africa that. games and uh, uh, many people do not know so much about it. It's basically like Continental Olympics, mm -hmm. as it were. Mm -hmm. that, is, that is what it is. Mm -hmm. And so um, Nigerians are, uh, I think was second overall. Mm. I don't know the exact number. And the reason why I don't know the exact number of medals <laughs> is that we have a terrible, terrible uh, uh, attitude towards mm. record keeping. Okay. So you can't, and normally if it is the Olympics, you have the Olympic site where you go where every, every, every second it's updated, yes. as it were. We don't have that for the All Africa. We don't have, wow. There's a site, but there is no way we can get the updated medal list as it, as it goes as on. It is. Apart from the fact that we can't even see a lot of these events to watch. To watch, yes. You know, yes, so, true. you know, uh, the more, this continent, we, uh, we get a lot to do, man. And these are things that in this day and age yeah. of technology where it's so easy yes, to do Yes, it's easy to actually matter. do that, yeah. You just need to put one person on it, one sharp person on it to actually do all of that. I mean, it's tech, but I think I, that's I where we should I will do it. I can do it. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> yeah. well, I think the PR for the Africa, all African Games is also not as strong. At all. Right? It's not, it's not all. necessary. You definitely have to work on that. I don't know if you have time for no, the we're final paper. Let's, okay, yeah, and that's all we're taking uh, uh, on the newspaper headlines for today.